Okey, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat sejahtera. So, uh, we will discuss the past year question which is question number 6 for PSPM 1 2019-2020. So, let's read the question together. So, so question 6 refer to chapter 7 which is ionic equilibrium. So, let's read the question together. The nitrous acid is used to distinguish between primary, secondary and tertiary amine at 25 degrees Celsius the aqueous solution of 0.215 molar nitrous acid is 4% dissociate okay, write a balanced chemical equation determine the acid dissociation constant and the pH of the solution Okay, there is a few um, information in this question so the first information is we know that it's only 4% dissociate so based on this statement we can conclude that the nitrous acid is a weak acid alright so this is the initial concentration alright so first we want to write a balanced chemical equation okay and then write the uh, calculate the Ka constant and finally calculate the pH ok so now we want to answer question 1 ok so to answer question 1 please write the number of question so the equation nitrous acid is a weak acid react with water because it is weak so it is a reversible reaction to produce okay so this is the answer for one for number two we want to calculate the k a expression and we are given the information four percent of the nitrous acid dissociate so it is the percentage dissociate so the formula for the percentage dissociate is concentration dissociate over concentration initial times 100% is equal to 4% so concentration dissociate over the initial concentration is 0.215 times 100% is equal to 4% so from there you can get the concentration dissociate as 8.6 10 to the power of negative 3 molar ok so after that you can insert the value in an ice table so I will rewrite the equation and O2 sorry let me see the first equation oh, NO2 yes ok NO2 eh? so the concentration initial is 0.215 molar so this is not so this is 0 this is 0 the changes since we already know the concentration dissociate so we can put the value 8.6 10 to the power of negative 3 this is again So the concentration final is what is the value? Zero point two zero six four. So the Ka expression is K 
Okay, so you have to write the general expression. Then you can insert the value. And finally, you will get the Ka value which is 3.58 10 to the power of negative 4. Okay, so this is the answer for 2, part 2, uh, uh, A number 2. Okay, now number 3, calculate the pH of the acid. So, so to calculate the pH, so please write the numbers of the question. So the general formula is negative log H3O plus. So negative log 8.6 10 to the power of negative 3. So 2.065. Okay. So this is for question. E. Now let's look at the question B. Calcium hydroxide is used to neutralize the excess acidity in, in lake and soil. Calculate the pH of calcium hydroxide. All right now. Calcium hydroxide is a strong base. Okay. And this is the initial concentration. So now we want to calculate the pH of a strong base. We cannot straight away calculate the pH. We only can calculate the pOH first. Right now, we need to write the equation that represents dissociation of calcium hydroxide. So calcium hydroxide. It is a strong base, so it's completely dissociated. Two mole of OH minus. All right. So initially, we have zero point three molar, and we don't have anything of this. And the changes is um, this is. Actually, this is x because it is 1 and this is 2x. Okay, so the changes is all. So for this one, it's reduced 0 0.3 molar. And for this one, it reduced 0 0.3 molar. And for this one, it reduced 2 times 0 0.3 molar. So the final concentration, it is 0. This is 0 0.3, this is 0 0.6 molar. Okay, so as I mentioned, because we have OH minus, so POH is equal to negative log OH minus. So in our case, negative log 0 0.6, it becomes 0 0.22. Thus, the pH is equal to 14 minus 0 0.22. You're supposed to get 13.78. Okay. So the most important thing is you're supposed to know it is a strong base. The arrow is supposed to be this way. And this value is very important because we have 2 mole of OH minus. So that you have to multiply by 2. So now let's look at question number uh, question C. It's still for question number six. In a weak acid, uh, weak acid strong base titration, okay. So we are given the volume of a strong acid, a strong base. It's undergoes titration with weak acid to reach the equivalent point. So this is a very important statement. So at equivalent, we know that the number of mole 
acid is equivalent to the number of mole OH minus acid mean H plus. So if we perform a titration, okay, OH is here because we already know the volume but we do not know the concentration and the HCN is here because we know the volume and the concentration that we use. So what happened during the titration? Once we add HCl to the solution, the concentration of KOH will reduce until it reaches equilibrium where all the number of mole KOH completely react with HCN. Okay, so that is the most important thing that you're supposed to know about the titration. Okay, write the chemical reaction for the equation uh, for the titration. Calculate the concentration of KOH at equilibrium and explain why the HCN is not okay now. The, e the equation. So we want to write the equation. So it is the reaction between weak acid and strong base. So it is between KOH plus HCN. It will produce KCN, which is a salt, plus water. Okay, what about number two? So what happened to the concentration of KOH solution at equilibrium? The most important thing is at equilibrium. As I mentioned previously, the number of mole KOH will reduce once the, so the HCN is, uh, is added because it will undergo reaction until it reaches equilibrium, meaning that all the KOH will undergo reaction. So, the number of the molarity of KOH at equilibrium is equal to 0. Why 0? Because we know that the formula for molarity is mole over volume. When the number of mole is equal to 0, because all undergoes, already undergoes reaction with HCN, so the molarity is also 0. So, the answer for B, or for number 2, is zero okay so the reason why because all the base already react with acid when it reach equilibrium because the concentration of the solution in a conical flask will continue reduce once it undergoes reaction with acid until it reach equilibrium which is zero molar Number three, you have to explain why KCN is not a neutral salt. So we have to under, uh, write the hydrolysis of salt. KCN hydrolysis. Okay, so we have three equations. So the first one is dissociation of salt okay so k plus ion can form koh which is a strong base so it cannot hydrolyze in water while CN minus react with water it is a weak so it will produce HCN plus OH minus so because the OH minus exists so the salt is a basic salt with pH greater than 7 ok 
Okay, and the last question suggests a suitable indicators for the titration because it is the reaction between weak acid strong base. The suitable indicators can be phenolphthalein or thymol blue. Okay, so this is the answer for question number six. 2019-2020 Okay, thank you very much